Austin Brown's pass complete to Nathan Pereira. Mike Holloway carries for a Buccaneers touchdown. A 31-yard touchdown run. Austin Brown's pass complete to Colton and Ford. Austin Brown's pass complete to Darius Hammond. into the end zone for a 21 yard touchdown run. Callaway with a 73-yard touchdown run. The attendance for tonight's game, 11-30. Probably not a chance that we're ever going to play again, at least while I'm here, uh, and maybe while he's here. And so, uh, out of conference, this game means more. I'm not going to lie to y'all, it means more uh, because uh, we feel disrespected by them. I mean, and I'm not saying their coach or maybe their team, but there's a lot of people that I think look down on us for maybe what we stand for because our facilities aren't what they, you know, people think they should be. They don't want to place our place and it motivates our guys being in the same city and being able to come out and do it three years in a row and play bad and really dominate the game. I mean, dominate the second half. I'm proud of my team. Uh, give, uh, give glory to Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me sane right there in the first half. What did you tell your team at halftime? I said, listen, I said, we played probably as bad as we could, two turnovers. Uh, and if it wasn't for that last one, we're down 10-6. We gave them some points. I said, we'll go play and be mistake-free in the second half. We felt like we had a great plan. Uh, I think we scored, what, 27 points in the second half. So uh, really nothing, just play. I think we were so excited. Austin was sporadic. Kyle got hurt, so we just needed to calm down at halftime. Was good for where, where were you keeping the broom during the game? It was in the locker room. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't cocky. So I said, keep it in there after, uh, after we broke, broke that long run, uh, I said, go get it. I think we're good. Coach, you said before this game this week that this was the most confident you had been about your team matching up with the Citadel the three years you've been here. Was it because of the talent? Was it because of the experience? Why were you so confident that this was a good matchup for you this year? Well, one, I think our talent's better. Two, I know our guys have been building for it. And then three, we play them better 
than most people on defense. Our guys do a great job. They're the leading team in the country. We led them to 181 yards rushing. And so our defense does a great job against us. I knew we'd have a great plan, uh, and I knew that if we would just play the way we're capable of, we felt confident about it. This this game was won back in the summer. We had, we had it circled. We knew this was the last one, and we wanted to make sure we left it on a high note. Are you going to propose future matchups? Are you going to keep pushing for it? Listen, I, I've said I think we should be a, a mayor's trophy and play for it. Uh, I think some people, maybe there's some alumni I know that are great people. And they have respect for our program, but a lot of other people, I know they talk about duty on respect, a lot of other people don't respect us and think it's beneath them to come to Charleston Southern. And my job as head coach is to stand up for my team. And so we're going to play them. It's going to be home and home. We win more games here than they do here, so it's like a home game for us. But I'm not, we deserve home and home. How big was your passing game today? That was kind of an X factor that you guys haven't had matching up with in the last couple of years. You guys were able to use that today in critical situations. We did. I, you know, we cut, we dropped a cup early. I think it helped us in the first half, but uh, it was big. I think Coach Chow has got to have confidence in it. Sometimes when we not, we missed a lot early. Y'all saw we was behind guys, but we kept sticking with it. Austin, to his credit, stood up, made some big plays. But that's the difference in the game because I think I don't know the stats, but I think they had us in third and long that second half a few times, and we were able to convert, especially that big fourth down down here. Uh, and that, that was the difference in the ball game right there. And, and Thanks again uh, for like I said, uh, uh, shutting them out there in the second, second half. If there was a shred of chance that you guys were going to have a few more games here in the near future, do you think you just ruined it there with that display, with the broom? No. I mean, if, that, if that's what they're holding it off of, then they're not going to play us anyway. That's for my kids, my team. <laughs> Uh, that has nothing to do with them. That's for us. That's our own personal thing, just like every game. You know, uh, at uh, ETSU, we played for a Buccaneers pirate ship. It was a pinata in the locker room. You know, so it's it's everything, and it's for our team only. It has nothing for them. It's the way we motivate our team. And so I hope they play tonight. Well, I don't know how many fans here. It was a great atmosphere. Why not have this game? Why not? They'll beat us eventually. Why not have this game? You know? Just uh, the moment. Now you got you got a bye week. And then you got Big South uh, Conference play. I mean, to, to beat the Citadel, what kind of a jumping off point is that as you take a little break and go into conference play? Well, it's huge because, I mean, you lose this game, you, you got, they're on a bye week. You got all week to hear about it. You're frustrated because you put a lot into this game. And so, one, bye week's coming a great time because this is a physical game. They're physical. And so, we need to recover. But just to have no one that we're capable of overcoming a bad game like we played early and come back and win, I think this gives us the confidence we need. Now, the big part is, yeah, this season's over, sorry, this season's over. We're into the new season. We, we've talked from day one, out, you know, we want to win out of conference games, but it starts with Monmouth, and that's what our main focus is since last week as far as our games. So we're putting everything towards that new season. What does it mean to beat them? Man, it means, it means a lot. Because over the years, it just shows us no respect. And like, to come into their territory and just beat them for a third time, it's just amazing. What the Bruins think you can do? Every week, we have like a championship that we uh, strive to win each week. And uh, it's sweet. It's the third time, so we, uh, we swept them off on the field. And uh, he just emphasizes that like, each week is a championship. And uh, we just strive to beat them. Uh, In a way, does it feel like they're scared they won't play you again? You beat them three times? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they won't, they won't play. Hey, your guys' offensive line beat him up pretty good in the second half. Uh, uh, Darius's touchdown run, your touchdown run, it's like untouched. It's like a huge hole and you're gone. Could you get a sense that you had worn them down in this game? Oh, yes, we have. Uh, at, we just run first, try second, we just pounded the, the whole way down the field. And uh, obviously they got tired. Uh, it just really worked in our favor. You only gave up 10 points in the first half. There's the pick six. Was there a confidence level that you guys had based on maybe how you match up with your offensive practice or past experience and why you felt you were going to be successful today defensively? Um, well, definitely past experience. That definitely fed into a lot of it because we stopped them the last two years. We played them pretty well the last two years. But this week of practice has been the most intense uh, to date yet. So the scouts have been busting their tails. They're giving us great looks. And we just knew that we had prepared. We had prepared to stop. We had preparation to stop significance of a three straight in this series the sweet the the broom comes out the, the emotion on your guys end can you kind of sum it up and, and, and what it took to get here and and then the feelings you guys have right now um, definitely just playing with that chip on our shoulder you know it's just, um, not ever wanting to believe that we're as bad as some people think we are and we're not we're not bad we're actually I think we're, we're the best 
was the best we've proved in three straight years in Charleston. So that just, it's, it does a tremendous amount for the school, the community around in North Charleston, and everybody. We just, we just love it.